Well, good morning. Arizona might be wrapping up right now, but don't worry. We still have more local news for you right now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Javier Soto hanging out there for Arizona's Family Plus, but we want to get right to our top stories right now. Just into the newsroom, a mistrial was just declared in the back page trial. The founders of the classified website were accused of facilitating prostitution and money laundering. The federal judge in the case chided prosecutors for making too many references to child sex trafficking in a case where no such trafficking charges were filed. Founders Michael Lacey and James Larkin made millions from the online classified site and were accused of knowingly allowing ads for sex to be sold on that site. A new trial date has now been set for October. A judge will decide whether Governor Doug Ducey's ban on mass mandates in schools is constitutional. A decision is expected before September 29th when that ban is set to take effect. However, the case, as you know, doesn't focus on the ban itself, but whether the state legislature violated the state constitution by passing it in a larger budget bill. Meanwhile, a poll released last week shows a majority of Arizona voters oppose laws banning mass mandates, but it's important to note the Arizona School Board Association, a group challenging the law in court, paid for the poll of 400 likely voters. A woman who disappeared while hiking was found dead in North Scottsdale. Police say 57-year-old Donna Miller of Rhode Island was hiking near Joe Max and Alma School with her husband Sunday afternoon when they planned to separate. Her husband called 911 when Donna failed to show up at their meeting spot. Uh, it's important to note it was 103 degrees outside. Donna's body was found after hours of searching. First responders say heat illness appears to be the cause of death. The city of Phoenix, as you know, closes Camelback and Piesta Wood Peak when an excessive heat watch is in effect. Scottsdale Fire says they're looking into implementing a similar program. Federal help will soon be on the way to help Flagstaff and other parts of northern Arizona. President Joe Biden has declared a disaster in our state for counties hit hardest during the monsoon. This includes Apache, Coconino and Navajo counties. Back in July, Governor Ducey declared an emergency at the state level, making upwards of $200,000 available in Coconino County. Now federal aid will be available for the state, tribal land, and some private nonprofit organizations. A Valley pediatrician who's been helping children battle COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic says the virus has now hit close to home after four of his kids tested positive. Dr. Gary Kirkless says in one week, all four of his children ranging from seven years old to two months tested positive for COVID-19. He says all four, including his two month old, developed a fever that progressed into a cough. He says even though it's been a rough past week or so, he knows it could have been much worse. We were scared. We were scared, um, but we, you know, we sought medical attention as soon as we found out the uh, baby was sick. I can't imagine if me and my wife had COVID as well and then had to take care of the children. Now, thankfully, he says all four of his children are now feeling better. Well, more and more kids are catching COVID, and the biggest reason is because there is not a vaccine available for kids under the age of 12. However, some health experts say one could be available by Halloween. Now check this out though, also switching gears here, a mural in downtown Mesa is one of 12 across the United States selected by Facebook to raise awareness about COVID vaccinations. So check this out, the social media giant partnered with the city of Mesa, Chicanos por la Causa, and local artists to create this mural. The artwork contains a QR code that directs viewers to Facebook's COVID Information Center. Mayor John Giles expects the mural to have a positive impact on the community. A picture says a thousand words, right? So I think even if you're not a Spanish speaking uh, person and you see this picture, it's going to resonate with you on an emotional level and it's also going to communicate some good information. This is all part of a nationwide effort to get local artists to design artwork to encourage vaccinations while representing people in their respective communities. Well, Arizona's nonprofits just received the largest single day grant initiative in state history. The Virginia G. Piper Charitable Trust awarded $123 million in grants to 71 organizations. 
They were delivered as a surprise to 71 nonprofits, groups like Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Central Arizona, and Girl Scouts of Arizona. They received nearly $55 million, while another $32.7 million went to arts and culture groups like the Arizona Theater Company and the Children's Museum of Phoenix. $21 million went to education and academic enhancement and the rest went to healthcare and medical research as well as religious organizations. Well, if you've ever been stuck in traffic between the valley and the high country on a weekend, there is now relief in sight. ADOT is now moving forward with plans to widen the I-17. A section we're talking about is between Black Canyon City and Sunset Point. ADOT just picked a development team for the 23-mile project. It'll widen the freeway and add two reversible flex lanes to help with congestion. A stretch of I-17 turns into a big bottleneck whenever there's a crash along that freeway. Construction is set to start sometime in 2022. Yeah, this is an awesome concept. When you think about convenience, we always talk about it, but is it really convenient? Well, we have a couple of gentlemen here that thought of everything. And when I say everything, they really did. Eric and Craig, how did this all come about? Because, you know, when I heard Eric guitar, I'm thinking guys are going to be in here jamming out. But you really feel like jamming out once you find the item you're looking for. Yeah, Craig and I have been working on this for about five years. He's got an incredible restaurant chain. I have convenience stores throughout town. And we wanted a different energy. We wanted a a nice atmosphere people could come hang out get whatever they wanted have a glass of wine have ice cream have the whole family so this I, is where we ended up when you think about it the folks are now that they're entertaining at home they have it in they're always having to run out to go grab stuff you done made it easy for them with all these selections of wine and everything else in here to go along with it as well we've got 180 wines 90 red and 90 white all priced by a category real easy to shop and you can open up and consume it here and not to mention, we were talking about the food. You guys didn't go down on the food. It was, it's not your convenience store sandwich that you see here. You guys went all out. I'm talking about breakfast bowls. I'm talking about the sandwiches you put out here. You put a lot of thought into it. We, we went really uh, detailed into our sandwiches. We have pizza by the slice. We make our own dough. We make our own sauce. Pizza by the slice all day long. You know, when you thought about this and you look at the concept that you see here, you guys thought of it all, whether someone wants to grab a Gatorade or they want to grab a drink that has no sugar in it all. If you want if you want something uh, uh, sprouts related, as you mentioned, then you have Doritos. I think that's the whole idea. here. Yeah, we did everything you could. You know, we tried to make it convenient for everybody. So if there's a keto section, there's a gluten free section, there's, you know, non dairy section. So, again, we wanted it so the whole family can come in. And if you all have different tastes, you can get all of it. As I mentioned, and, and then you made it to where you want people to come and hang out as well. You have seating area outside, which is nice and comfortable, some music playing in the background. Uh, you know, it's not one of those where they just have to come and get out of here. They could come and hang out. Yeah, we have 100, um, about 40 in the south patio, uh, 60 on the north patio where you can come hang out. You can have a glass of wine, you can eat, you can have ice cream. So when the weather gets really nice, it's, you know, come hang out as long as you want. When you think about neighborhoods that have been popping up around here in the valley and have everything set this is what they've been craving for. You see these in, in places like Chicago or you see them in downtown areas like that. But I don't think in the Valley there weren't too many of them. This is really kind of taking it a step before anyone else is doing this. Yeah, nobody's done it before. Craig and I, again, worked really a long time on this. We looked at some locations in California, but we really wanted to be here first. All right, guys, I'm telling you, uh, this is the place to be because convenience is definitely your jam. And I'm telling you, they came up with the name. They were just hanging out. They said, air guitar, you know what? I feel like playing it because I'm so excited to turn around and find everything I want, whether it's a burrito, cotton candy burrito, some pizza. Oh, it keeps going. Did you notice I mentioned all the not healthy stuff? They got healthy stuff too, but we're not touching that. I want to jam out on some of that ice cream. All right, thanks, Kim. Well, Pilot is on a journey to become the youngest woman to fly solo around the world, and she's just landed in Chandler. 19-year-old Zara Rutherford started her trip August 18th back in Belgium. Her journey will cover five continents and 52 countries by the time she's done. This was actually her 30th stop. She's now off to Los Angeles next, and then will work her way up the coast until she flies from Alaska to Russia. She hopes to inspire more young women to become Pilots. How cool is that? All right, thank you for joining us here and watching Arizona's Family Plus. And for the latest news, traffic, and weather, all you have to do is head to our website, azfamily.com, or download our Arizona's Family News app.